Hello and welcome back to Moonstone Island here on Coblin Plays. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, do all the good things. It really helps out. So in the last one, we got some big old house upgrades. I want to check these out. Did we max out our second floor? It's just this empty. And then our attic. These could also be places for storage. I think we, we do still have some upgrades, but I think the basement, did we expand our basement at all? Yes, we did. Holy, this is a lot of space. This is more space than we need. So we could very easily also throw our moonstone machines downstairs. Very neat. So we got lots of moonstone machines going and lots of moonstone, which means what should we spend it on? I kind of want to get some more spirit stalls hello pumpkin i have a bit of a puzzle for you your father and i have a bet going i told him it's possible to create a concoction with 12 power but no other stat boosts or debuffs he says it's impossible please help me prove him wrong one of my recipes in return oh i just finished concoction in the cell or put the finished concoction in the cell great when you are done nothing else in the mail so that should not be all that hard if we run on over and we look through our plant storage. What do we have as far as pure power upgrades? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Power plus four. So that would get us to eight power when we combine them. That's not going to work. Anything else here? Vitality... Ooh, the gift plants. I forgot about those. Power minus five. Huh, I don't know how we would do this. We've got the electric cone. But that also gives plus stamina. I don't know. I think the... But no other stat boosts are not including the power. Power plus five, armor minus three. Okay. Okay. Here we're getting a little closer, but we need something that's plus armor minus, or, you know, plus, yeah, plus plus, I guess. Interesting. Well, maybe you have to keep an eye out or figure that one out at some point. I'm not sure how that one works. Also, we didn't get a greenhouse from Paolo yesterday. We should still have, we don't have much stone on us. I would actually rather hit the exploration. No. Before we do that, let's... Hopefully we have the cloth for it. But I'm going to make some more moonstone stalls. Six of them to be exact. And we'll replace this front room's stragglers. And this way we can start actually collecting some extra spirits to try to get a higher chance of getting the eggs we need. Let's get rid of this last one. Nice. One, two. We can actually afford to get one more spirit stall, moonstone spirit stall. So we'll probably do that. Also, when we visited Rowan, Rowan didn't have the shiny capacity, did he? I'm not sure. Yes! Stone egg. Stone egg. Stone egg. Big find for us. Oh my gosh. My inventory's full. What can I get rid of? Blue gemstones. Inventory's always full as per usual. So we got... Do we have the nest still on us? We do not have the nest on us. We'll go grab the nest. Oh, I'm full full here, too. Got too much stuff. Too much junk in the trunk. So put away the uh, spirit resources. Any other ones? Oh, yeah, up here. Looks like that'll do it. And then... Grab the spirit nest. Nice. We've got some duplicates as already for Psychic Spirits, I'm realizing. So, we're just getting unlucky, man. Just getting unlucky. 
I really should put away the uh, map and whatnot as well. No, put away everything. All right, we got everything put away. So that should be nice. We can easily go out exploring now. We did forget to hit up the tavern last night. That would have been kind of nice. See everybody. We could go again tonight. The kind of like... The more friendly people are at the bars on Saturday night. It's not everyone, everyone in town. So, I mean, the only place we have left to go is to the right of the main island. So to the right we will go. And hopefully we'll manage to find those last four dungeons. It feels pretty surreal to be down to the last four dungeons. But it shouldn't take us too, too long. Getting into some unexplored territory now. By the way, what do you guys think of the new, not so much editing, but cutting out, you know, flying in between islands, or if we ever have another big harvest, we can we can use it for that. I don't think it's going to be super commonplace on the channel, but I have the hotkey set up now and everything, so we should be good to at least mess around with it. I think it's pretty handy. I never liked filling the time when I was just flying around. Always felt a little bit awkward. So nice to have a, another way of, of filling that time, I guess. Not even filling that time, just removing it. Saving you guys the time. Excuse me? Okay, there we go. Oh, I don't think you could be walking towards where you place the bridge. Level 50, so should be a good challenge for us. And by good challenge, I mean not hard at all. Bosses, though. I love when they're bosses. Then, you know, it might actually be a good amount of challenge. Level 51 boss philambit. Not messing around. All right. So. Let's. 8x our poison. Followed by a little. Honestly, we're going to tear through the armor bars with Dropple. Well, then again, I think. At least Mumbleweed is weak to fire, correct? Poison Electric. No, I start. Okay, never mind. We don't have any weaknesses to fire. Group Hug Accelerant. Let's Accelerant. I should have used Reckless Gas or Spore first, but... We'll Spore and we'll Group Hug. We also have a couple cleanse talismans, so we could actually start spending them on Dropple and getting rid of some of these not so great cards. I would love for Dropple to have another big, big hug. That's probably too much to ask for. Just so we cannot take damage on this turn. Easy peasy. We got a Ruby plant. Upgrade points to spend on my medallion. I mean, maybe. Maybe we could get another, uh, Big Big Hug. I think it's called Big Big Hug, right? Or is it Great Big Hug? But it was like something Group Hug, now that I think about it. Reckless Gas. Oh, I can only... Okay. Then let's... Whoa, you have, like, the most armor I've ever seen got a 8x it's just too good of a first turn play and i think it was well worth it so we have one already i was gonna try to heal up but no dice there are we even carrying healing items anymore i think we are i think we have those coal berries if i'm not wrong and so away we got continuing through this dungeon's not my favorite style. The first time we had one, I was like, cool. But especially now with just how fights tend to go. Not the most exciting. But what can you do? Everyone's on fire. Should we group hug? I think I'm going to group hug. I'm going to dizzy just to get a draw. Not just to get a draw, but... Save myself from some damage too. Kind of slow down the fight. Let these... Uh, heal over times start hopefully start to tick up I mean yeah a little bit see if we can pull big big hug at some point 
Shall I use Spore again? I think so. It's a very efficient card. As far as just generating lots of poison. Oh, wow. So I'm not really going to heal up too much as the fight is over after this turn. Whether I want it to be or not. Reckless Gas is good in one-on-ones, I should say. 300 damage just for funds. Mumbleweed got another level up. 63. I wonder when we unlock the Endless Dungeon. Something tells me it'll be at the end of the first year. But we'll have to see. Another... What is this guy called? Sinjin. Oh, Sinjing. Like Sinjing. That's pretty good. Sinjin. Is there another part of that that's like more punny? I don't know. Oh, we can't not crush, can we? Okay. Spore. Wow, no one else has armor but Sin Jin. Yeah, I can't use crush this turn, which kind of sucks. Because it would have... Well, I could have used it on Shmeep or Bonefire. I don't think that's worth it, but... But yeah, taking 500 damage in one turn off Sinjin could have been really good. Haven't yet got any of our Accelerants or Purify Poison, so we're not, not quite cooking yet. Still no dice, dang. Well, we can get a draw here. Nothing. Get the Dizzy on Shmeep. Wait, did they change that heal card to remove all negative effects from one spirit? Is that what I just saw? I think that might have been what I just saw. Next time we draw it, I have to look. Because it might just be all. But if it was all negative, it makes healing spirits. Like, that's a massive buff. That makes Pupox essentially irrelevant. Which a lot of people are like, oh, Pupox is like the most... Or I, I watched one video that they said the best spirit in the game was Pupox. I do not agree. I uh, Very limited uses. Unless dark cards are like really good, which they could be. I don't, I don't get it. Ooh, wow. Yeah, well, we're not missing out on too much. Get these dizzies going. Yeah. Bash won't even do anything. Mumbleweed is kind of a beast the way we've built the deck. Rebite's back, right? Yep. Blind blow for sure. Crush as well. Blind blow into blind blow to really, really just add injury to insult. Did Boun Bouncing Bane did apply there, right? I think so. And Mumbleweed will get a little heal. Realistically, we only want a card or a deck that's like 15 cards. Because most fights are over within two turns. So we want to be drawing both Purify Poison and accelerant within like the first two or three turns right so the 30 card deck kind of fails us now a 30 card deck works for a game like hearthstone where you're one not discarding your whole hand at the end of the turn i guess this is more like slay the spire and slay the spire fights last a little longer not a ton two armor 12 are you guys all weak to water, though? I mean, that didn't really work, actually. Wait, yes, it did. I got one dizzy, at least. Oh, wait, we got two. Let's go remove all conditions from all allies. Never mind. Unless, I think I maybe read all as negative. 
which, you know, maybe you're wondering how I do that by being really dumb. Okay. So it's going to be reckless gas. Oh my God. They all went on to bone fire. This is perfect. Oh, and I put it on the wrong guy. Well, it doesn't matter. Bouncing Bane. It's probably okay. No, because I didn't multiply the highest number. What a misplay. Purified Poison, just for funds. Blind Blow is so crazy. I think on paper, you're like, is it that good? But if your cards, on average have a cost greater than one i mean it's just so much value every time never mind it's just always good it just lets you get off a lot more cards i guess which is at the end of the day what we need whether that be drawing whether that be energy i mean i guess it's mana cheating at the end of the day that's a that's a holographic schmeep that is a hollow schmeep. Let's go. Easy one to spot. Looks super cool. I wish I could give Quill hit this one. Plus 50 tame. We'll use the good taming fruits for this. Or flowers. Oh, I used the wrong one on accident. Shouldn't be a problem, though. Oh my god. How did you get 72 burr? That's big. I guess not dizzying anything. No! This is a good one. I knew it. Move to our spirit bar. No other place. Uh-oh. We might lose Dropple here. It shouldn't be a big deal, but... Everyone's going for a bash on Dropple. This is perfect. And we'll HP rate. Dropple. Dropple. Why did you do that to yourself? You didn't heal yourself. And now we have a problem. We could group hug. It's not like an absurd play. I think we have to though. Oh, oh no, we don't have that many negative effects on ourselves. Let's go get the free draw in case it's good. If not, let's just apply some poison. We're kind of playing defensive in order to attempt to save Dropple. I think it's going to work. We can get Karki eliminated somehow. Group hug, water balloon. I now, oh man, tripling will not kill you. So I'm going to triple yours because that puts you on a two turn timer. Dropple's still alive and is going to get a nice heal this turn. This fight's still not over. Let's see if we can get even more heals this turn. This shouldn't end the fight, correct? Yep. And now everyone will be pretty much full health. There we go. It's almost like all of my skills are really good. And group hug. Again. We're almost at 200 heal every turn. Good luck trying to get that amount of damage out. Given they did 70 fire damage to me. I think fire damage could be doubled. And it wouldn't really break the game. I could be wrong just because I'm so overpowered at this point. Also, this level's a freaking gauntlet. What happens if I flee? I'm just a little bit curious. Can I? I'm going to see what happens. Can I walk over the switch during my invincibility frames? Guys. Guys, that's the cheese right there. You check if they're shiny. If not, you just run away. Given you might have to eat the, the attack on the first turn. But I'll still take that. I think that's well worth it. Save yourself all the time. Of doing fights that you don't really have to do. And I'm not really that interested in their 
drops. If I pull big, big hug here, I might play it. Just to... No! We got both Accelerant and Purify Poison on turn one. L. Huge L. Probably, I probably should have just run. But wait, after this turn... Everyone's gonna juice up. And I could just run now. That works for me. Oh, I have to stand to the side. Am I gonna eat more attacks? No, I'm not. Nope, didn't draw big, big hug. That's all I care about. I love that I can cheese this this dungeon a little bit. Really sped up, like, we just did a quarter of the dungeon the time it took us to do like one fight usually. I mean, this one's too free, I'll do this one. This is like a two turn. Well, I mean, not not this time because we. Oh, wait, we got another blind blow. Give me more poison. I think this is a one turn. We didn't even get to use big, big hug. We threw away two mana and still one on turn one. That's silly. Another two on one, but mm, I don't really care. These guys do actually hit pretty hard. Like if I needed experience, this would not be a bad place to grind. You know what? If we left it undefeated and we just came back and kept respawning the enemies, this place would actually probably be really good for grinding. Also, does it re-roll the helpers? Because if it re-rolls the helpers, could we re-roll the shiny? Right? Let me know on that one. If anyone's ever tried. I don't know what, like, is there a shiny hunting meta in this game? Because if so, I'd love to, love to look for one. This, ooh. I mean, Rebide is low. I'm still going to flee I think we can, during the Guardian fight, just get our health back up. What happened? We were doing so good at skipping these fights, and now we keep having to get back in them. I'm doing something differently, I guess. I should have been picking up the chests, but we'll live with it. Shmeep and two Sinjins. Ah, oh, we got the big, big hug. Gotta try. Wait, we got crazy regen turn one. 145 heals. But I got burnt pretty bad. So, can't, can't mess around with that. Let's go. Probably a... Oh! Well, tackle dropple, bash dropple, bash repite. Oh, what was I thinking? Okay, not a good turn. Not a good turn. For some reason, I was thinking the card I was going to draw was zero cost, but we weren't using blind blow. We nearly have this Sinjin taken out. Oh, double blind blow. Crazy. Crush. Then we just keep spamming reckless gases. I should have used four instead of two reckless gases, but. Yo, let's go. That's wild. That's so quick. And that was all on a fight where we basically skipped our entire first turn to use healing items or healing cards. Which really paid off. Because now we're all topped up for the Guardian fight. We found all the chests, even the optional ones. A rectangular window. That's actually pretty cool. I can see us throwing some of those around our house. 
didn't even like use up barely any of our stamina today either. Actually, it's not even that late. So we could we could maybe do some resource gathering tonight. Ooh, not a great first hand. I think dropping the double reckless gases followed by a group hug and we still had room for the water balloon so I'm going to use it. Okay, so Bonefire's dead. I'm going to focus on Schmeep if I can afford to this turn. I mean, really just focus on getting poison, as many poison stacks out as possible. This is probably how I'll do it. Oh, free Blind Blow. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Octuple that. Just for gigs on Schmeep. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful. Very easy. Very clean fight. And let's get right to it. There's the boss chest. Do we have a bunch of moonstone now oh we're only on the first day of this episode hey that's what happens when you get a, a dungeon that has a lot of combat i guess the days go really really slow ando acolyte so shall we it's not even 20 yet on the clock so i was about to say should we Pop a Psychic Sight Potion, but I'm going to see if I can find the Moonstone first, teleport home, then use the Psychic Sight so that we can catch low-level Psychic-type Spirits or Magic-type Spirits. And look at that. We found the Moonstone. We will whistle home. Wrong button. We will whistle home. Ba-ba-da-ba. -ba -ba. And... Should we put... Nah, we're good. We're good on sword space. Then we'll just hustle on to a different island. Oh, should we go to the bar? Let's stop by the bar. Maybe we can go on a date with Cleo. Yes, Cleo's there. Hi, Farah. What's up, cutie? Farah's nearly like a super friend as well. Look at that. We only need two and a half more hearts with her. I'm trying to work on a problem, but I'm struggling. Perhaps I need to go for a walk to clear my head. Give gift? Oh, wait, no. She doesn't like gifts. Well, I just don't know how to. Um, Let's go back to the beach. Perfect. I shall see you at 20. Cool, we got a date. Good day to go to the hot spring. Do we have any sweater plants? Somehow we did not. We got a bunch of ruby plants. Uh... We'll just chat with him. Also, do we get a free beer and um, coffee today? I think we do. Free? Oh, no, just the free coffee. Hey, I'll take it. Can't open this yet. So, yeah, we haven't done the quest to finish that, whatever it is. How much? Oh, we didn't even miss any of of the good good night time. And I will pop the psychic site on this island because we also need earth type spirits. Oh, I mean we didn't get it, but Oh, it's over here. Okay. So 180 and just just head back there, I guess. It's also an Earth-type island, so not a huge deal. Though, now that I think about it, these islands are such low level that we're only going to get single encounters. It's going to be a little bit slower. Not, not terrible, I don't think. Where are we? Also, sorry, I, was, I, I thought I could pour a drink without being loud. No, it's just going to be loud, so I'm not going to do that. My apologies. The professionalism on display on Copeland Plays in every episode is just astounding, and you know it. I know it's what you're here for. I should have paused. I thought this wouldn't take us as long as it did to fly over here, but 
we're learning how the pause function works. I really wish I would have known about it, you know, 30 episodes ago, but that's what you get when you haven't made YouTube videos before. You gotta learn, or learn things. Come on, psychic spirits, come on out and... Yo, we haven't found the moonstone? How many do we have? Six? We could craft two more um, gumball machines. Just a basic loony lid. Oh, I can't catch him. He's only got one. Dang it. Okay, we'll just we'll just take him out then. Nope. No dice there. So not gonna be the best, like as I said, maybe we should have gone to like a middle island. So we weren't so stuck like this. But it's okay. These guys maybe are just a little bit too low level. They're easy to catch, but I've got a team built for combat. Also, I'm just a high enough level to where I don't really have to worry about that kind of stuff. Well, that's pretty exciting. A boss psychic type spirit. So we won't be able to catch him, but we can... Just win the fight and hopefully you'll drop an egg. Pretty common, right? Crescent plant. I mean, it's fine. We'll, we'll make it, but... Does this snowman plant look weird? No. For a second, I was like, what? It looked like really purple. But I think it was just a trick of the night. Any more? Psychic spirits? Come on, guys. Come out and play. There's, yeah, there's probably nothing for us in the dungeons. But I say, like, you go back to a dungeon and you do anything? I mean, I guess if you missed any chests, but it's not that big of a deal. Keep deforesting this island. Bandicle? Hey, Interesting. We already have a bandicle, so I don't think I need another one. So we'll just tidal wave. We'll very quickly deal with him. That's kind of cool, though. That was the last ice spirit we needed, so cool to see another one. I kind of wish the uh, final dungeon was an ice dungeon. But at the time of launch, there was only like three ice spirits, so probably... Probably just wasn't even in the cards for the dev. I don't know how big of a team worked on this game. Like, it, it was... I know it's small. I've seen an interview with the developer, but I'm not sure how small. We, sh we could go wander around our spirit barn, but... don't think I'm going to do that tonight. We'll do it tomorrow morning. This day's gone long. Already at the 30 minute mark. We're only on the first day of the episode. And I'm cool with it. I think it's just more Moonstone Island time for me. I also, it, like, it makes me feel like I'm getting closer to the end, but in reality, like, it makes no difference. We'll be at the same point. Okay, so I can't catch this Pasho either. Hey, but we might be able to get a egg from it you never know we did not we tried that's all that matters okay let's head home ba -da -ba -da. i've already used the warp whistle today when oh i totally had already used the warp whistle today well ripperino to us i think you think we can get home in an hour I don't think so, but we're going to try. And here's my plan. We're going to stay in the air as much as we can. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Also, I keep forgetting to go see Magic Man. I'm used to him just kind of pulling up on us. But we can just go talk to him any time now. So my plan was to fly... Fly back home like this. Oh! Really? If you're over the air when it becomes midnight, you fall asleep. 
I mean, falling asleep at the wheel, it's dangerous. So, do we go for Artful Archaeologist? Do we go for Treasure Trove? I, I think we go... I think we go for Artful Archaeologist. I know in the last episode, I'm like, additional treasure chest, but like, we can get all the blueprints. That's not hard. The bonus energy is not useful per se, but it's cool. So, three dungeons to go. Ladies and gentlemen. I maximized our day a little bit too hard yesterday. So we did not make it home. But we do have enough Moonstone to kill a small nation, I'm pretty sure. Oh gosh, that's the shame seed chest. I forgot about that one. Throwing, throwing some random stuff up here. Anything else I don't want? I'm just throwing junk up here for now. Stuff I'll never come back for, essentially. Fire resist, remove all ethereal concoctions. Yeah, just random junk. Random, random, random junk. You throw the, I guess I'll throw the potions downstairs. I hate how this room looks now. I worked so hard to keep, like, felt like I was really using the space nicely. And now it just kind of looks goofy. Because the chests don't go as far. Also, you don't need this much storage. Like, I just didn't expect this room to get that much bigger. It got a lot bigger. Um, where is... Where's the chest I keep? Oh, there we go. My bad. And wood. Nope. Wood's here. Wood. Treasure chests. Not treasure chests. Treasure maps. This is not the one. God damn it. It's this one. See, I don't know where my stuff is anymore these days. Also, four cleanses. We could fix up our... Oh, wow. Actually, I know exactly what we're going to remove from Dropple's deck. So we're going to take these four, and we're going to we're gonna fix Dropple slightly. Because I think Dropple, honestly, and Rebite... There, there's two cards that I can get rid of. The first one being Poison Plus. Which you only have one of, so it's not a big deal. And then we have Feed. Oh wait, not Mumbleweed. Not bad. Dropple. Feed you this Talisman. And we can get rid of Regen. And HP Rain probably as well. And one of these group hugs. Should I get rid of Tidal Wave too? Because we have Soak. And I would kind of rather just draw Soak every time. Feed. Okay. And yeah, one group hug. Probably get rid of Water Balloons as well whenever we, we want to. Let's upgrade the power. Riptide. Deal 15 water damage to all enemies. Draw two cards. Two star, three star, no thank you. Okay, that was it. Level up. Power as well. Oh, you can also get an armor? Get an armor. I could get another blind blow. That's really tempting. I don't think we need more. We draw them readily enough. Like, already? Put two random attack cards from your draw or discard pile on top of your... No, okay. That's a combo card. It is free, but... Not not what we need. Am I crazy for that one? Who knows? Another blind blow! I really want them, but... I don't think it's really what we need. Another bash. I think we actually have a good ratio currently. Especially with how much we've thinned out our deck here. Not, I don't mean, we didn't thin it out that much. We thinned it out by four cards, which is like a 10% decrease. That's pretty good. I'm going to make... Should I make more spirit stalls or a bunch more moonstone machines? I'm making more moonstone machines, dude. They're too powerful. Uh, we can't put the last one in just yet or ever because we need to be able to get to the back ones but we've got quite the selection now 
I think this should be enough to keep us up and running Moonstone wise for a good long time. Now we just loot. I should go sell all of this loot just so we can see how much we're actually making these days. Because we're making a lot more money than we used to. Another stone egg. Let's go. Let's go put down the new stone egg. Do we have a spot? Yes, we do. Well, Shmeep. I mean, I could... Actually, I'm going to put this Shmeep in storage. So transfer, let go, move to Science Center. And then the... The Psychic Spirit can stay. I'm very excited about the Shiny Shmeep. We've now gotten all the Shiny Starters except the one we still don't even have. That's a kind of fun stat. Or fun achievement. I mean, I definitely want to get the last shiny now. That just sounds really cool. The last shiny starter, that is. There's also, like, I'm, I'm a Pokemon guy. Shiny starters are special, usually. So, getting, getting another one would be pretty cool. Oh, I don't have the stuff, do I? So what do I need to actually craft a spirit nest? Spirit Nest is crafted with one wood, one fiber. I don't want to tear down my village. Grabbed enough to make ten, so we will have some in a chest if we ever need more Spirit Nests. I do love being crazy rich in this game and just kind of being like, I don't really care what I get, what happens to my stuff. Like, it don't matter to me. I'm loaded. And we'll go back, that will go back into storage. Alrighty. Well, we do have a date tonight, now that I'm remembering. So going... Well, we can go pretty far, because we can just whistle back. But... Oh, wow. We have a dungeon we found and haven't explored. What's the quickest way down there? I guess just running. Probably won't get through the dungeon today, but... You know, we gotta go on a date with Cleo. I don't want to lose those friendship points, so... I'm not gonna mess around with that. Hey, what's up, Tobin? Tobin is by far our worst friend. I feel kind of bad. I don't have anything for him. Asuno, on the other hand, we're getting very close to max friendship. Maybe we... Oh! We already gave Asuno a capacity. Dang it. I can't give you another spirit, can I? No. That that would be a fun challenge. Moonstone Island, but like you do all the requests with shinies. Like not really a shiny lock, but kind of, a shiny lock of this game could be kind of fun too. Like you got to find one shiny every season. That could be pretty cool. It would not be that hard either. We don't need group hugs. We just took one out of our deck. Are you sure you want to step in the mirror? Yes, actually. Wait, this is such a good way of getting out to the outer reaches. And now we have the dark resistance charm. So you don't have to worry about that. Oh, that was such a good idea. I just wanted to say hi to Magic Man. Did we even talk with Magic Man? I think we did. I think even you guys heard that noisy car. Holy smokes. I've got a noise floor. I could probably turn it down a little bit. I live live in a pretty noisy area, so we, we, we do what we can with the sound. I would rather you guys not have to listen to the outdoor sounds than have my audio be completely crispy perfect, sadly. But hey, what can you do about it? That's that's living in a college town. Guys, I'm almost done with college. I've, I've talked about this a couple times on the channel, but I'm in my last year of college. And it is starting to really sink in. That I will not have to worry about homework again in my life. 
research groups. My, my teachers have been talking a lot about research and I'm kind of like, you guys, one, it never worked. You never got me to do research at the school. I, I just chose to work as much as I could instead. But like, they're still trying to teach me and I'm kind of like, guys, I ain't coming back here. I, I will leave here, never have written a research paper in my life. And I will never, well, never written one for a research group, that is. I've written a good amount for homework assignments. So, you know, but it's just a very funny realization of just kind of being over it. Just kind of being like, I don't care anymore. I've done it all. It's a good feeling. It's a very good feeling. I know there's probably at least one of y'all watching out there that's in school. And it is, it's a brutal, and it seems... It is a brutal. It's brutal, and it seems like we'll never end. But you're closer than you think. And one day, you're going to be done. And you're going to have to find a job. And when you have to find a job, it'll be the only time you will ever be like, man, I kind of wish I could do more school. It's finding a job is really scary. I mean, it really depends what you want to do. I'm very comfortable in my life doing whatever pays me well. And whatever is like easy to find a job in and love in life for other reasons like making these youtube videos i genuinely think once i graduate from school the video quality is going to actually go up which is pretty funny not immediately i'm going to be really busy at first but if i like settle into having a nine to five and i actually get used to like recording at night or editing at night as like my kind of wind down activity it could be pretty fun I think I'm going to get a lot of cool videos out around around that portion of my life. Who knows? I mean, maybe having a 9 to 5 is going to be more work than college, but I think mentally it will be a lot easier. Okay, where's the moonstone on this island? Also, we only have about an hour till our date, and it is kind of far away. I should probably stop dilly-dallying. We've never been late to one, even. Even I'm not really trying to test what happens when you're late, so... We will not be late. How about that? Let's whistle home. Yeah, and I get nervous, man. ba da ba da Oh my god, I love how the first day of this episode... I think we're at, like, the 40-minute mark on my recording. And then this one, I just, like... One, I cut out some stuff and we also just never got in a fight and we're gonna end the day early by going on a date hey that's kind of the pace in moonstone island you got long days you got short days you got rowan with his cool freaking holographic spirit how does fishing work around here don't the fish just jump off the edge that's actually a great question rowan how do fish work winter makes me so much older than i am I can't tell how old Ophelia is. I'd kind of like to get to know her better. Maybe we should go on a date with her sometime. Her and Guyana. I really like Guyana. She's actually probably become my favorite character. Because Guyana, like, has a personality where, like, a lot of the other people in this game don't quite have a personality. Even if Guyana's not, like, friendly or lovely, she's got a personality that is very much her and very strong. I think that's fun. I'm not saying everyone in this game lacks personality, but like Guyana's is, I don't know, feels the most believable, honestly. Just like sad teenager. Even though I don't think she wants to be a teenager. Kind of like how Sebastian is in Stardew Valley. And we can actually trace back the location of the islands that way. All you need to do is find a soil sample, or better yet, a fossil. Those are incredibly valuable. This island, for example, used to be on the south coast of a tropical island. But of course, the flora and fauna have evolved since then. Oh, you must have seen so many creatures on your adventures. I am so envious. I collect the ones I think cool. Do you ever stop talking? I've only seen a few. I'm going to say I collect the ones I think are cool. That's exactly what I would do as well. Although, I suppose you don't study them. Or dissect them. Well then, I have to be off. Tomorrow I need to re-alphabetize my library. Good night. She's not... Not really saying much. I think that went well. I think that's the best... 
best way it can go is well. Okay is like medium. I'm sure it can go bad as well, but we haven't had that. And with that, I would like to thank you for watching this episode of Moonstone Island. If you enjoyed, drop a like, comment, subscribe, do all the good things, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.